Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Ah, it was a nice peaceful morning. Everybody was just waiting for the morning trains to arrive at the station. And little does everybody know of the chaos that is about to unfold here at the station. As all the trains come in and absolutely destroy everybody and run over people and crash. Oh boy, this is gonna be glorious. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, giving you guys my first impressions of Beware of Trains. Now this is a very, very unique, very fun game that I discovered on Steam. Uh, it's in early access right now. And this is basically a train crash game where you try to take out as many people as possible. I know it sounds a little, I would say morbid, but I can assure you this is actually a really fun, almost a little bit like a puzzle game, but it's morally just sit back and watch the chaos that you can create here. And I kind of figured out a lot of my channels about crashes and chaos and destruction, so this actually fits quite well on the channel. So we're gonna be checking this out here today. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this game. And if you wanna see more of this on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel. And let's jump into this. All right, so I can only assume that you're playing death, basically. So uh, what you see here, there's levels. Uh, they all have different themes and objectives. Now you'll see a chaos mode, which is more like a sandbox mode. I have to unlock that, and I'll unlock that in 15 more skulls, and each skull is basically an objective. So I did level one. We're going to go back and do it again, and then I unlocked level two, which level two is really cool. It's like an old western theme. So we'll go into level one here. We'll go to start normal. All right, so here are your objectives for this level. So objective one is just kill 25 mortals. Uh, objective two is destroy a minimum of 22 or 20 objects and billboards suck. Destroy those two and there's two of those. And then there's a third objective which is kill 35 people but only use glue and boosters. Now you're probably asking yourself, how does this work? Well, this is the chaos. This is what we are about to do here. Hold on, let's get down close. So you see, it's a perfectly innocent day here. Everybody's just waiting on the trains to pull up. There's tons of people here, uh, objects, cars. Everybody's just having a merry day. So really what you're trying to do, you're trying to cause as much chaos as possible. Think of it kind of like the crash mode and burnout, except for it's trains. Now you can manipulate the trains and the people. There's these little tools down here. You've got the booster, which speeds up the trains, which by the way, you can click this button here and you'll see the delay on when the trains arrive. That one's seven seconds. That one starts immediately. Uh, immediately in two seconds over there. So this will help you kind of time the chaos out. So the booster speeds up the trains. You've got this glue, which this glue is actually quite funny. I like to stick it sometimes at the crossing so when people panic and try to run away, they get stuck. I know that sounds very cruel, but that's a thing here. So we've got that. You've got a derailer, which basically you stick it on the track and you can derail the train wherever you stick it. Which we're going to stick one right here and we can tell it to derail to the right side. So we're going to do that. I think a train comes from this direction. Actually, we probably want to move that down over. Let's move it down over here. Okay, so we've got that. You've got a banana skin, which I think... I think this, I don't know if this just instantly kills people or if they slip on it and they can't move kind of like the glue. We're going to stick one right over. Actually, this group of people is always tricky. We're going to stick them over here. So we got that. We got a donut. And obviously, everybody loves donuts and this attracts people. So <laughs> we can attract people right into the middle of the rail. You can see the little ring you need to be in. So maybe about right here. One of these guys will run out and kind of just play in the tracks. Uh, you've got an explosive barrel, which we can use this. I'm going to put this near a group of people, maybe over here. And we got firecrackers, which this scares people. Now, people like to run away from the accident, so I'm thinking this would make them run back towards it. And we got a group over here that's just waiting to get away, so we'll stick that over there. All right, so we've used pretty much all the tools except for the ramp. Yes, there is a ramp. This thing is okay. You kind of need the boosters, which maybe we'll place them. You know, we're going to do that for the sake of the video. We're going to stick a ramp over here. Uh, let's go ahead and reverse its direction. We'll make it angle out towards the people. This is so evil. This is so great, though. 
All right, so we're gonna put a booster in front of the ramp. That way the train gets some speed. And we're gonna stick one more booster. I will stick it on this train over here. Now, one last thing you can do, you can actually play with the train switches. So I want this one, the train that's coming from this direction over here, I wanted to come in closer to the people. Uh, what about the one over here? Okay, that's switched right. Okay, so all you have to do now is hit start and you get to watch the chaos. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna get to use the slow-mo. Actually, the, oh, the firecrackers are going off soon. Okay, let's slow this down. This train is gonna come barreling through here. We got another train that's on the way over here. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. A lot of times they'll lose their uh, load, like he's got lumber on here. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fly off. So what we're gonna do, let's do some full speed. We'll give you guys just a taste of the chaos here. Let's go full speed. Uh, oh, the train crash. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's going through the people. Uh oh, that one's coming through here. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a, oh, those people got hit at the last moment. That was actually quite amazing. Okay, that worked out. Pretty well, uh, we got 20 objects destroyed, so we really just completed the first objective. If we would've destroyed those two billboards, we would've got the second one. So that just gives you guys a little taste of how this works. So, it's up to you guys to basically get creative with your tool placement. Alright, you know, I really didn't see what this did ramp-wise. I think we're gonna move this thing, so we can just pick up the object. Now, certain objects can only be placed in certain areas. Like, a lot of them are free objects, but like the glue, it can only be placed on the tracks. So we're gonna get rid of that one there. This firecracker went off way sooner than I thought it was, so I need to kick the delay up. We're gonna kick the delay up to about, let's go with 10 seconds on that, so... Yeah, that way it doesn't go off and scare them too soon. I think this is a little bit better setup, so we're gonna go ahead and go to start. Let's go, we'll get, kick our slow-mo in, actually. We'll wait for the trains to actually get here. All right, this one's on the way. I wanna see this one derail. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Oh, the explosion went off back here. Oh, people are flying. All right, here we go. This train's coming over the ramp. Action movie style. Oh, that looks terrible. There's still explosions going on back here. Pieces are flying. Uh, yeah, the game's a little bit on the violent side, but I guess what kind of gives it its charm. Oh, look at the people, they're panicking. The train's coming. Oh, the people are walking under the train right now. Uh oh, it's gonna hit this group of people. Wait, that was some action movie stuff. It just passed over those people. Now the second cart might actually get these people. Uh, that's coming through, wiping out the signs and the telephone booth. Ah, here we go. Oh, this is about to be... Oh, these people just got hit in the head. Ow! <laughs> oh, and this train car. This is like some Final Destination stuff. All right, let's go ahead and go normal. Oh, <laughs> it just crushed those people. Oh, no! Oh, I forgot about the other train that just came through. Oh, that was amazing. Wow. Man, I really want to unlock that chaos mode. The chaos mode is a sandbox... Uh, where you can, I don't know if it's unlimited tools, but you get more tools. So, that's basically it. You gotta, you gotta kinda just get your objectives in order. And like I said, I've already completed this first level. I wanted to give you guys a taste of what I had to do. Uh, because there was at one point, I only was able to use glue and boosters only. To actually take out 35 people. That one took the longest. Uh, the billboard objective wasn't that big, and that wasn't that bad. So, anyways... We're going to actually go on to the next level, the one that I actually have to figure out here. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a taste of what it looks like to actually play the game, opposed to already knowing what's going to happen. Alright, here we go. We are in the old western town. So, apparently you have to, uh, for your objectives, you've got to smash both fake horses, kill 15 people, that's objective one. Objective two is the sheriff is corrupt in his silly life. Kill 10 people and no whiskey and boosters. That's probably two of the tools here. Which I like that about the levels. The tools change up too. And then apparently the last objectives. Kill 15 people. No whiskeys, boosters, or rocks. And only one barrel, my friend. Okay, so let's look at the level real quick. It's two sets of uh, it's straight tracks. There's no crossing tracks this time. So this could be a little tricky. What's the timing on the trains here? 20 seconds... And, oh, there's only two trains, 16 and 20. That is tricky, because we're not going to actually have a train collision unless we find a way to derail them. So, we got two derailers. That's cool. Uh, that looks like, is this our sheriff? There's our sheriff. We need to get him. 
Uh, here's the two. It says these are fake horses, so we got to take those out too. Okay, so let's go for the. Uh, we're gonna go for the easy objective, and that's basically kill the horses and 15 people. I know it sounds wrong. Uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna put a derailer here. Actually, the train's coming from that direction, so we're gonna put one here. And we're gonna direct it to derail to the left, so it should skid off, take out the horses. Alright, so we need one to take the people out. Uh, let's go and put a derailer here. I'm assuming this is gonna be a, like a steam train. I just don't know exactly what kind of cargo it might be carrying, if it's explosive. That's a thing. So, we got a bottle of whiskey, which is a liquid sunshine. I'm assuming this is something to, uh, yeah, this is something to attract people. So, let's just get them as close as possible, uh, to the tracks. That way they'll get taken out. And, you know what? We're gonna put a booster, just to keep up the speed. So, we'll put a booster down there. And then we have explosive barrels, too. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, let's go ahead and place some explosive barrels. We'll put one by the horses, and we'll stick one down here. I wonder if these uh, buildings can get destroyed. That's maybe a thing. All right, so let's go ahead and hit start. All right, this is gonna take a second here. Uh, oh no, the people actually walk around a little bit. Oh, they're drinking the whiskey. That's what's happening. All right, where's our first train at? Come on, train. Oh, there's people walking out of the buildings. Okay, I wish I would've known that was gonna happen. All right, here comes train one. Oh, it's a steam train. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it missed everybody. Oh, and it's going to hit the derailleur here. Let's go full speed. Oh, <laughs> I just took out the horses. Oh, oh, that was, wow, that was much more violent than I thought it was going to be. That happened a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Oh, wow. Okay, those steam trains really book. All right, well, that's one objective there. So we did the first one. Now, to get the next objective, we got the, uh, we got the sheriff, but we can't use any boosters or whiskey. All right, let's go ahead and reset here. All right, so what we're going to do for this next objective, we're going to use the same setup, except for I got rid of the whiskey and the booster that I had on the one track. So, same setup. Let's see if we can get objective two, which it's to, uh, I think it's to kill ten people and no whiskey and boosters. And I think maybe take out the sheriff? I'm not sure. Actually, we haven't used the rock, which I, it just says it's a big rock, and I don't understand. Does it just stop the train? We might be able to get the last two objectives here. Let's go ahead and go to start. Uh, let's hide that. I actually really like this game. Uh, I'm not big on puzzle games, but when it comes to like train crashing chaos, this is pretty amazing. So, same objective. We don't have the people attracted to the whiskey, but that train crash was so big, I don't think it's going to matter. All right. Oh, here comes the steam train. Just on time here. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's go slow-mo. Oh, that looks amazing. Are these people gonna get taken out by the engine? Oh, it's close. Oh, these poor people. Oh, no. Oh, they're running. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that looks amazing. Where's the other one? Is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, they're trying to run back into the saloon and... Oh, 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 wait. Oh, there it goes. It hit him. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Okay, the other one's coming. All right, we took some people out back here. Oh, that was violent. I don't know if we're going to get our people total here. All right, let's go ahead and speed this up. And that one's going to derail. Oh, come on. Come on, take out the people on the platform. Oh, there's an explosion. Uh, oh, I think we're short of our people. We took out the sheriff, did we not? No, he got away. All right, so... The second objective, we were short by really just one person. And then the third objective, man, you only can use one barrel there. Ooh, that's going to be tough. All right, here comes the train. Oh, buddy. Ooh, that derails there. All right, we got to take the sheriff out. That's coming for the sheriff. Yes. Uh, wait, we got him, right? All right, we got the sheriff. Did we get enough people? Oh, uh, yes! Okay, objective two is complete. Now, basically, we need to do that again. We don't have to worry about the sheriff in objective three. But we can only use one explosive barrel, so... I got an idea. Alright, we've got it down. We're going for objective three. Let's go ahead and start this. Gotta take out 15 people here. I think that's it. Is it 15 people? Yeah. We've got the right tools in. Uh, this is gonna take a bit of luck. I got my one explosive barrel right there, and we got the two uh, train derailers. All right, here comes our steam train. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, come on, come on. Uh, 
Oh, we missed that one guy. Okay, there it goes. There's that side was pretty good. And oh, explosion. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, we're at 13 people. We need two more. No. Ma'am, would you please be so kind as to walk in front of that train next time? All right. That was close. I think I need to move the explosive barrel, but we'll get it. All right, here we go. Watch out, ma'am. Oh, there we go. Okay, train one's in. I did a decent bit of damage. Train two. Oh, we hit the barrel. I think we got it. Oh, that was pure chaos. Probably should have slowed that one down. That was a lot to take in there. There we go. Level two is complete. So that's objective three done. I actually got through with this one a lot faster than I did the first level somehow. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, here we go. We look like we're in the city here. All right, so the objectives on this one are to send the VIP to another world, kill 20, and do not use dynamite. The next one is to kill eight EBI agents. I guess it's supposed to be FBI. Uh, destroy a minimum of 50 objects and use a max of one derailer. And then the last one is destroy VIP car, kill 45 people, wow, and do not use any ramps. All right, let's look at the level real quick. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of... Why is there so many officers around here? <laughs> oh, wow. All right, where's the VIP at? Uh, looking for a VIP is... Uh, we need a very important person. There's a police car over there. There's a couple buildings over there. I can only assume it might be him. Possibly. Where's his car at, though? Huh, okay. Yeah, it's got to be that guy over there. This is a pretty busy one. This one also has the uh, the track switchers on it. So, do we have any new tools? We got the dynamite. Actually, a dynamite. That's a timed... Okay, that's a new one, actually. Alright, so how are we going to do this? Man, I really want the uh, sandbox mode unlocked. That way I can play with all that stuff, too. Alright, well, there's a lot of cops setting over here. So, uh, let's check our trains. Uh, 13s... Wait, are they both? Oh, they're on the same track. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's three trains come from this direction. So, we gotta make sure the track switchers are correct. I want the trains coming from this direction. We're gonna assume they need to be over here. There we go, so they're gonna go that way, and then the ones coming from this direction, we're gonna swap them over here. So, one's gonna immediately show up, and this one's gonna be, I hope that five second delay is enough to swap these trains around. I don't know. All right, so we can stick some dynamite here just to get some freebies. Uh, let's go with the freebies over here. Uh, the first train, well, we're going to stick these back to maybe, we'll go at 10 seconds on that. And, you know, we're going to stick a banana pill in the middle of all these people, because why not? Firecrackers, we want to scare people towards the accident, so let's put a 10 second delay over there on that. All right, we don't want anybody running away here across the tracks. They can only get there. We're only going to use one of those. Uh, we could use a ramp over here. It would need to be right there. And we could swirl it that way. There we go. Uh, boosters. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and put some boosters on the track, because why not? Let's just speed things up here. And derailers. Okay. Uh, I guess we want to derail stuff, so let's put one back there. Go in the right direction. And if another train... Actually, I don't think another train's... You know what? We'll just put one over here for funsies. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. First train should be arriving. What kind of train is it? Okay, it's another passenger train. It's going to speed up here. Oh, oh, it instantly. Oh, it's because there's a derailer over there. Oh, that's going to take out so many people and cars. Dude, that was a good one. Look at all the people rolling. Oh, they're going to get pinned between the building. Actually, I think the bus stop just stopped the train. All right, so they're running that way. Oh, everybody's running now. Okay, so that dynamite. Uh, this might not be good. Let's go full speed. Uh, come on. Come on, get these people over here. Oh, oh it's going to miss, but it hit some cars. Oh, there's a lot of potential. Oh, these people are running back. On, uh, We're still crashing here, folks. Just give us a second. We're dealing with all the chaos right now. Okay, this is an interesting one. Because the uh, the people on the other side of the tracks, and sometimes it seems like they don't react to it, but they did. They ran away. So, in theory, we need to go ahead. Let's go to retry real quick. In theory, we need to stop this sooner. All right, so our dynamite over here. We're going to move the dynamite back 
in this direction. These people ran away really quick. We'll keep it on the 10 second fuse. Uh, I don't know if this really made too much of a difference here. We might actually get rid of this. Get rid of the glue. And let's keep the train sped up here. That way we can still get that derailing. That was glorious on this side. This derailed and took out almost all of these people. Uh, we're going to move the uh, the firecracker. Where were a lot of people gathering? Uh, maybe we'll stick it back this way and hope we can get people to run back over there. We'll put a couple more second delay on it. We'll put about a, let's put a 13 second delay on that. All right, so ready to orchestrate the chaos. Let's go ahead and hit start here. Our first train comes from this direction. Does an absolutely glorious job of taking out all these people. Here it goes. Ooh, <laughs> full speed. That is way worse than full speed. All right, so the dynamite went off over there. Really didn't do too much damage. Whoa. Okay. All right, people are still running around the tracks, waiting for more trains. This train's going to kind of come through all... Actually kind of calm. The, the tail end of this crash is really calm. All right. I think I saw my error there. We need to have the ramp back. It, it actually did stop that train. That train made it through that time. All right, so we're gonna move the derailer right here. So it's still gonna hit the ramp, still gonna get some hang time over here, and it's still gonna be going extremely fast. Now this other side's just, it works so well. Now we do need to move this fuse. I think we're gonna move this piece of dynamite over maybe right into here. So we got that. I really wish we could use the glue on stuff other than the tracks. Maybe, are we having people run across the tracks? I don't believe so, just in case they are. We're going to stick some glue spots on the crossings. I don't think it's going to affect the trains too bad. And then we got another ramp, but I really don't know of a use for it right now. All right, let's go ahead and start this chaos back up. First train comes from here. In full speed, this first train derailment is so fast. There it goes. <laughs> Wait, it missed everybody that time. How did it do that? Oh, that one didn't miss everybody. All righty. You know, I didn't change anything over there. Why did that miss everybody all of a sudden? Oh, here comes another train. Still derailing. Is there another one coming? Oh, there goes that one. <laughs> uh, wow. All right, let's reset that. All right, we're going to give that one more attempt here. I want to see what happened. This thing didn't derail the same way. It actually shot past the people. And that's sometimes you, you get that. You get a little bit of, I don't, wouldn't call it inconsistency, but the physics seem to change a bit. See, this time when I have it slowed down, these people are going to get annihilated. At least most of them are. Oh, there's no running here. There's no running. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is the most screwed up train game I think I've ever played. I love it. All right, so that's going to happen over there. We're going to keep this one in slow-mo. I want to see the glory here. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. All right, so all these people on the uh, the sidewalk, they're getting taken out here because, yeah. All right, so we got another one coming. Let's go ahead and full speed this real quick. Oh, there goes the dynamite. Okay, that went off and just took out people. We'll call those freebies. Okay, so let's go full speed. And, oh, look at that. There goes this one derailing. Oh, boy. You know, we still missed a ton of people over on the other side. All right, let's go full speed. Oh, it's taking out cop cars. I really probably should stick the firecracker over there to make these people run back. And here comes this one. Oh, oh, oh okay. We got another one over here. <laughs> that bus stop is really, really strong. I don't think we've broken it yet. All right. We're going to let this thing continue, and we'll see what happens with the objectives. I don't think we got anything there. All right, were we even close? Okay, there's one that says we can't use dynamite. We could, I don't know, we only got 23 out of 40 people. See, these objectives, the difficulty curve went up a little bit. You're gonna have to be pretty creative with this last one. You know, we almost came close to getting the last objective. Now, question is, where was that VIP car at? I somehow keep missing it. I don't know, we'll have to look at it, but anyways, I just want to give you guys a, a little bit of a uh, first impressions of this game. Uh, like I said, it is available now on Steam, so if you're into a little bit of a puzzle game, train crashes, stuff like that, uh, very cool stuff. I do, uh, like I said, want to unlock the sandbox or the chaos mode, because I want to see that, because supposedly you have more tools, and I guess it's a little bit more unlimited. And you could probably create the biggest train crashes ever. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we will see you guys next time.